You there. Wallen watch your face. Goddess Hestia. Aes had been in shock for a while when someone called out to her from behind with a clamorous scream. She turned around just in time to see Hestia in a familiar tavern uniform advancing straight towards her. You. Did you see my bell? Uh. My handsome bell is a second tier adventurer now, so he's become a bit famous. Plus he's adorable. So my plan is to track him down by asking people on the street if they've seen him. Hestia was rambling on excitedly as if she'd just been up all night, although, in truth, the insane workload at the tavern had made her strangely hyperactive, and giving A's all sorts of unsolicited information. The goddess looked haggard and was already breathing heavily, looking as if she had already run around enough and asked for clues. Anyway. Did you see my bell being sweet to anyone? Yes, just now. With the girl from the tavern, arm in arm. Wahaea. Not just holding hands, but full hugs. Why didn't you separate them? What? Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Aze was overwhelmed by the force of Hestia's howl. That solves everything. You come with me. The enemy is much stronger than I could have imagined. There is no choice but to put aside our differences for the time being and establish a common front. Oh okay. Aze nodded without thinking. Hestia yelled, let's do this, and then she reached into the bag Aze was carrying, pulled out one of the Jayaga Maru Kuan snacks, and bit into it. Aes let out a sad sigh as the goddess gathered herself after a quick recovery and thrust her fist towards the sky. Come on, Wallen what's your face? Let's get Bell out of Surlhasset. So Hestia ran away. A brief moment later, Aes finally realized what was going on and gave chase. I don't really understand, but I should go along. I have a feeling it's the right choice. She wasn't sure what she was feeling, even when she unexpectedly joined Hestia in chasing after Bell and Seer.